the country that makes the best submarines in the world. The history of Sweden's submarine fleet goes back 120 years. It's an integral part of the country's defense. Sweden doesn't import submarines. The Sobkakum shipyard exports three submarine classes. Among the buyers are Australia, Singapore, and Denmark. The most impressive achievement is the A26. Also known as the Blecking A-Class, it's developed by Sobkakums. The A26 is Sweden's ghostly super sub of the future. It uses a new ghost, genuine holistic stealth technology. What makes all Swedish subs special is their operating depth. The Baltic Sea is very shallow. With an average depth of 196 feet, it's often called a flooded meadow. That's too shallow for nuclear-powered submarines. Neither Russian nor American boats can operate there, so they've traditionally relied on surface defense in the Baltic. But the 2022 attack on the Nord Stream pipelines changed it. It was a wake-up call for Western navies. Seabed warfare is becoming a reality, and the only one who is prepared is Sweden. In 2015, Stockholm decided to procure two A-26s. They cost just $959 million. That's less than one-fifth of the cost of a Virginia-class submarine. The A-26 has also been marketed abroad, but other countries were skeptical at first. French and German AIP submarines were traditionally considered the best. Until Cockham's unveiled its newest model, it features a chin sail. It has X-shaped tail fins for greater maneuverability. Its four 533 mm torpedo tubes can launch heavy torpedoes. It also features two 400 mm tubes for wire-guided torpedoes. The A-26 is powered by four Stirling engines. They allow for sustainable underwater cruising speed of 6 to 10 knots. The new design is completely modular. This lowers development costs for specialized variants. One variant accommodates 18 Tomahawk land attack missiles. The A-26 has a special multi-mission portal. It's used for deploying special forces and underwater vehicles. This is an important feature for contemporary submarines. The portal is situated between the torpedo tubes and the nose. It can also be used to recover the AUV-6 underwater drone. The drone can be launched from the torpedo tubes. The A-26 bellies down on the ocean floor when employing the portal. This is a maneuver which could aid it in avoiding detection. Cockums is now marketing three different versions of the A-26. The medium model is intended for Swedish service. It measures 207 feet long and displaces roughly 2,000 tons. It has a crew of around 26. Its maximum endurance is 45 days. This includes 18 to 30 days submerged. It will generally sustain a speed of 10 knots. Its typical range is 6,500 miles. This should give it capability for operations in the Atlantic. A smaller 167-foot pelagic version is meant for short-range patrols. An extended range model stretches to 262 feet. It displaces 4,000 tons. Its range is 10,000 miles, and its endurance is 50 days. This might appeal to operators in the Pacific Ocean. Sweden is joining NATO in 2023, its neighbor and ally, Finland, already did in 2022. But Finland has no submarine fleet of its own. It relies on Swedish protection, as do other Baltic states. Swedish submarines all use air-independent propulsion. Their Stirling engines run on diesel fuel and liquid oxygen. These boats don't make any noise, detectable to sensors. They don't leave a radioactive trace, like nuclear-powered subs. They are efficient, silent, and deadly.